Hi guys, and welcome to the 100th episode of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. That's right, 100 episodes, not including the Christmas specials and the anniversary edition. 100 episodes, and it's been a hell of a ride. In many ways, this series is the series that has defined my channel. For better and for worse, this is the playlist I think of when I think of my YouTube channel. It has been going for over three years now. It has gone through a variety of different formats. I've covered many different mods, a lot of different subjects, and I thought for the 100th episode, I would take a look back at what I consider the 10 most important episodes. Now, of course, this is just my opinion, and it's not even my top 10 favorite episodes or the top 10 best episodes, but the episodes I feel were the most important in this series, the ones that defined the series and the channel itself. And I'm going to do this in reverse order. Starting in 10th place is Episode 7, Sky UI. The Skyrim user interface was quite heavily criticized by many people in the PC gaming community and a lot of people were looking forward to user interface mods. A few had appeared, but none of them quite did what everybody wanted. But there were hints, there were little sneak previews and screenshots of one mod that was in development. Nobody knew its name at the time, but it was Sky UI. Now, I'd actually been in contact with the development team for that mod for, well, since its start, and I knew this mod was going to be big. I knew it was going to have a large impact on the modding community. I didn't realize it was going to be as big as it was. I didn't realize it was going to be the number one mod on the Nexus, but I knew it was gonna be big. It was also the first mod that I had covered that required SKSE. And I knew this was going to be a difficult subject for some people, for newcomers. I knew the, the veteran modders from previous games would probably just install SKSE without thinking, but I knew newcomers might well be a bit nervous, and I, I sort of knew I had to get this video right. So for me, this was one of those videos that, that when I released, I spent quite a lot of time afterwards looking through the comments to try and get a feel for if I had got it right. And so whilst the video is actually massively out of date now, it doesn't cover many of the features that Sky UI now has, and of course I have a completely separate video devoted to SKSE, I still think this video as being one of the most important videos in that series. It is actually still one of the most watched of my videos. The thing that stands out to me now when looking back at it is how bad my microphone was. I was using the built-in microphone in my Logitech gaming headset because back in those days I had no idea how important audio quality was. Number nine goes to episode 74, realistic lighting overhaul, enhanced lights and effects, immersive interiors. Obviously quite a lot of time had passed between this and the previous placing, but this video stood out to me because it was one of the videos where I did a direct comparison between similar mods. I showed you what the differences were in certain circumstances. And this type of mod I've done a few times, but that one stands out to me as one of my best for actually showcasing the real differences. I can tell you it was one of the uh, videos that took so much time to actually collect all the different shots because I just went around Skyrim creating saves in several hundred different locations looking for ones that actually highlighted the difference because very often I would I would go around in the vanilla game I would make a few hundred saves and then when I checked the differences between the different versions there weren't that many differences and so I would just discard it, it you couldn't see the differences 
until you'd actually recorded the different shots. So it was very difficult to pick the spots until you had actually got all of the footage from all of the different mods. And so I was recording the same spot four and five times over for 20 seconds, 30 seconds, then loading them into an editor, putting them side by side so I could see the difference and then deciding which ones actually showed the difference. And so it was, it was oh, so time consuming. However, I actually feel that these sort of videos, even though they do demand a lot of time, are probably some of the more useful videos people like me can make because they inform you, the viewer, as to the differences so that you can make an informed decision as to which mod you want to use. And let's face it, that should be one of the primary concerns for anything that is trying to be a mod showcase video. In eighth place is episode 45, or as I called it at the time, Dwemer Day 2. There had been an episode, Dwemer Day 1, where I showcased a lot of Dwemer gadgets, including an exoskeleton. But in part 45, I actually showed the Dwemer power armor and the exoskeleton mixed together to show something that was, well, a little over the top, probably not the sort of mods I would use, and yet mods that just showed how creative the modding community could be and how much fun you could actually have with mods. This power armor and exoskeleton combination really was massively overpowered. You did feel like some almost demigod-like Robocop running around Skyrim. It was probably something that would make any full playthrough totally ridiculous, and yet I loved messing around <laughs> with these mods. When I think back on all the mods I've tested, for some reason those two mods in combination just keep flashing into my mind and causing me to chuckle, which is why it is on my top 10 list. In seventh place, we have episode 56, Frostfall. Now, this was one of those very difficult mods to showcase well. It took months of playing to really understand how much this mod changes the game, and it was very difficult to portray that, to get over to the viewer the ways in which it changed the game. Superficially, you could have just said, well, it just makes it so you will get wet and cold in Skyrim, and you'll need to wear clothes and pitch tents and so on. And it's very easy to describe that, but it doesn't express, it doesn't explain how much that causes you to change the way you play, but more importantly, how you feel about the world of Skyrim. If I was to make a top 10 list of mods, Frostfall would almost certainly be on that list. But that's not why it's in this top 10 list. It's in this top 10 list because I'm honestly quite proud of that video. I think I did that mod a lot of justice. I think I managed to express what the mod does well enough so you, you, could, you could get a taste for it just from the video alone, and I suppose I'm patting myself on the back and saying, job well done with that video. In sixth place, we have episode 90, Forest New Idols in Skyrim. Now, this is a video that has Richard flying with angel wings and Richard dancing. That alone is probably enough to get it on this list. I mean, that video was ridiculous amounts of fun to make. It just was. It was a little silly in places, and I, I had a lot of fun. Um, but in actual fact, that video is important because it actually showed you how to install that mod. Now, that mod is essential for many other mods. A lot of mods that replace animations or change animations and the installation process is a little more complex than normal. And so for me, this video was going back to the roots 
of this series. I mean, this is episode 90, so it's a recent episode, and it's going back to the original intentions of this particular series and my channel in general, which is to help people mod their game. This, to me, is almost the perfect Skyrim Mod Sanctuary episode. It does exactly what I originally envisaged these videos would do. Fifth place goes to the Christmas special episode. This was not one of the numbered episodes. It was the first Christmas special, 2012. Uh, I do realize that 2011's Christmas would have been the first Christmas for Skyrim, but the first Christmas special I did was 2012. And whilst I could say I put it on this list because it was a lot of fun, the main reason it's on this list is I did a parody of the Dr. Zeus tale, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I am a big fan of all the Dr. Seuss books, as are my children, and um, yeah, I loved doing that. I really do enjoy that. I've done it since as well. I did it with the Cold Harbor Dramora episode, uh, but this was the first time I did that, and it was probably a little silly, and I make no apologies for it. In fourth place, episode 22, The Asteria. Now this was a player home mod, and it may actually have been the first player home mod I did. But what made this episode special was it was completely unscripted. I decided to try something new. I installed the mod, and then I started recording and just let you follow me, let you see my first reactions as I discovered this particular mod. And in many ways, this video started the change in the channel. My channel up till that point was completely about the mods, mod showcases and tutorials. I had done no Let's Plays. However, after making that video, a lot of people asked me to actually just play through the game and record myself as I did that, a Let's Play. Now, at this point, I didn't even know what a Let's Play was. Yes, I was and still am a bit of an internet noob. However, this was the episode. This was what started it all. Steve, my orc warlock, basically owes his existence to this particular episode. It may not be the greatest Skyrim mod sanctuary I have ever made, but it is certainly one of the most important. So we're up into the top three, and in third place is episode 84, Skyrim Memory Patch. Now this was the longest Skyrim Mod Sanctuary video I ever made. It was 42 minutes long. And the reason it was so long was I wasn't just showing what this mod did and how to install it. I was also showing you how you could test it, how you could push your system, find the breaking point, and then use this mod to fix that, to push the point where your game would crash so far that you would probably never reach it. This was, in many ways, the video that started the testing videos that I have started doing when I do live testing now. This was the first time I realized people are actually kind of fascinated to see what happens in the background, to see how people check these mods out, test them, put them through their paces, and deliver a verdict on them. Not everyone is happy just being told what to do. They want to know why they're doing it. And this video proved that. This video was surprisingly popular. I thought it would receive far more hate than it did, but in actual fact, people really liked to see this. People like to know what is going on underneath, and that is great, because in my opinion, that is one of the most important things about modding. A willingness to learn, a willingness to spend the time, and basically take responsibility for their own load order. 
In second place is the Skyrim Mod Sanctuary 2012 Anniversary Edition, which is actually not a single episode. It is a five-part series or a six-part series if you include the epilogue. And there are two reasons this is in the second place spot. The first reason is that in actual fact it's a very good miniseries, in my opinion. It covers all of the mods that I had showcased over the previous year, the first year of Skyrim's life. But more importantly, it had covered all of the developments, the tools, the controversies. Yes, there was a controversy during that year. The things that had shaped the modding landscape for Skyrim, you know, with the release of the creation kit, Steam Workshop, and so on. But the second, and I have to admit, most important reason I place this in second place was audio quality. I finally bought a decent microphone and this was in actual fact the first Skyrim Mod Sanctuary that used it. Uh, I was tempted to choose episode 51, which was the first numbered episode of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary for this spot, but in actual fact the anniversary edition did beat it. That was where I used the new microphone for the first time. If you want to hear the difference, go and listen to episode 50 and episode 51 and listen to the massive difference. So, if I could give any advice to people wanting to make videos on YouTube, the, it would be get a good microphone. It makes a huge difference. And so finally we come to first place which goes to part one, <laughs> the Nexus Mod Manager episode. Now this video is completely out of date at this point and was totally replaced by a video I made sometime later that went into far more detail about Nexus Mod Manager. But the reason this is the most important Skyrim Mod Sanctuary is not just that it was the first, but it is the video that got my channel on the map. At the time of making that video, I had a few hundred subscribers and I was known for making Fallout New Vegas tutorials. And the response I got for that particular video took me completely by surprise. And I have to say, this entire channel's existence, the videos I create today, exist in no small part because of that video and the response it got. And in honor of that episode, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. One of the hardest things about making that particular video was in coming up with a name for the series. My New Vegas series was called the New Vegas Mod Clinic, and the idea there was you came to me because you needed help fixing things or getting the most out of your game, so hence the reason I called it a clinic. For Skyrim, I needed something that sounded the same, only the Skyrim Mod Hospital sounded a little, well, wrong. And I, I just searched around for ages to come up with a word for it and decided upon Sanctuary because, of course, the S, it balances and it kind of means the same sort of thing. It's a safe place. Usually you go there when you need uh, rest, perhaps you need help or aid. The thing is, I really hate saying the word sanctuary. It is not a word I use in everyday life. It is not a word I have ever used. And I have to concentrate to say it. Sanctuary. It is just one of those words that I find a little difficult to say. And there have been many occasions when making these videos that I have had to take several run-ups at the introduction. So, when you hear the next episode and you hear me say, hi guys and welcome to part 101 of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary, it may not have been the first time I said those words. Um, I'm actually amazed I managed to say that there the first time. Um, so there you go. I named a series something I find <laughs> difficult to pronounce. Make of that what you will. 
And so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a trip down memory lane. The top 10 Skyrim Mod Sanctuary episodes, in my opinion. I am going to end this particular video, as I have ended all of them for quite some time, with screenshots that you guys have been posting. If you want to submit your own screenshots for me to use in these videos, you can go along to my Nexus page, go along to the Image tab, and upload an image there, and thank you for doing so. Not only are these screenshots pretty damned amazing, they also make me feel more connected to the people who are watching my videos, to the people who are modding their games. I can see what they are doing, I can see the things they are creating, and I like that. I have no idea at this time what episode 101 is going to be about, but I hope you can join me for that. I look forward to seeing you there, and until then, remember, as always, have fun.